Hey guys, welcome to Extension Tarot. I'm Dre Eden, and I'm here to give a collective reading for you people out there today. Um, all these messages may not resonate with all you guys. It's a lot of you. So you take what is for you and you leave the rest, right? And I'm going to add spirits in you guys' love and light in that if you get any messages today that they reach you in the best. Mind, body, and spirit, right? So, let's see what's going on. Too many spirits. Let's go on. What's going on with the collective spirit today? Oh, yeah. Thanks, all you guys, if you're watching for Facebook or YouTube, for liking, sharing. Definitely my Facebook fam. That's where I have most of my content. So, um, thank you guys for, you know, becoming part of the instinctual tarot community. Okay, Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands is basically having a lot of burden, they usually say. It carries a lot of weight of things that you may have on your mind or things that you may be going through. And if you step into the physical with this, it could mean that there's a lot of things that's going on around you that is just really unstable, um, too much to bear almost having too much just going on and next came out is the three of pentacles so with this can be having a lot of worries about perceiving certain things that's going on within your funds it's like okay um, not having enough gas today, um, worrying about not having enough of something, some tangible something, something that you have, um, people that don't have enough, you know, maybe food. It's something that you value very much that people can also see that they see that you may not have. So you're worried about that situation. But you're going on and you have a lot of faith going on, you know. But there is definitely a burden here. There we go. Six of Pentacles. So going through these burdens, that you understanding that there is hope in things. You have a lot of passions and things that you're going on right now. And leading into these passions are also the wanting to be stable, have a strong foundation in these things that you're going through. With having a lot on your mind, you might think that, okay, like I have different choices or different options that I can, you know, approach certain situations that have to do with your money and your funds. And this also have to do with what other people perceive you to have. You know, people always think either, you know, you got less or more because you're very quiet in how you're moving forward. You're not really telling people, nobody, about, you know, when you got a lot on your mind, that's really into the thought process. So you're not going out telling people. They're not really seeing you, you know, do the things you do. Not saying that you don't have it to do it you're just being very cautious at this moment with you know spreading yourself too thin which is okay and in this moment you got people wanting you to be there wanting you to you know extend 
that hand that you're always there, but you're not really feeling it. You like, I got too much to handle, too much on my plate. Basically, not really feeling nobody. Okay. Yeah, because you're taking up your options within this situation. You're like, well, I can give the little bit that I have or um, you're really fed up <laughs> with certain handles of how you approach people, of how you want things to be approached towards you. Everybody sees you as the giver and the giver and the thing. So when you take a step back, it's going to be like, oh, whoa, you know what I'm saying? It, it's that karmic energy, the ripple in the air that's just happening yeah could be a cancer so you're moving forward and you're not really caring <laughs> about who cares what you know how you're very passionate it's very black and white to you you're not under you're all right with it it's having a very passionate understanding about where you're going. And there's a lot of hope and dream in that. It's like, okay, I know I got to have a certain amount of money. I want this house. I want this. This is what you're going for. And people not really understand. They see you doing something, but they're just not really understanding how you're moving because you're not moving how you used to move. Because you have all these situations going on and it really doesn't have nothing to do with nobody else. Hence, him by himself carrying the load, having passion at the hip and spirit in the arm. He got it. So when you come across these things and certain people, they're not really feeling the actions of the thing. I'm not seeing nobody really being, you know, let me not speak too soon. But people just not really feeling you not being able to be there for them as you always should. And it's just your priorities have changed. The things you're doing is going to look different. Period. Yes, and next we have the page of swords. Yeah, you're going after new thoughts. Everything is like real new. I'm having a new situation, a new way I approach things, how everything should be in your life. That's what you're doing, the splendor of it all, the wonder of it all. <laughs> you don't really have time to understand or make people understand what you're going through right now. See, that is the passion that's going to lead Hence the red shoes. He has passion in his feet. You're walking directly into what you need. And it's not really considering nobody else right now. Yes, you have people here that want to understand and want to do certain things. But the passion is your low right now. It's not really, you're not really in the understanding mode. That's almost in the first place. It's like re being fed up. That's the max you, you from from jump, <laughs> from, from, you, you're done. The yellow in the hair says that is the passion, intuition. It's in his head. Yeah, and it's ultimately going to change the world. And right now, for people that is looking for jobs, looking for things that's going on right now, now is the time. And definitely if you focus, if you're focused, you're going to be led right into that. And then these same people are going to wa is watching, you know, the ones that's asking is not really the ones that is doing the work. The ones that's asking right now, their will is kind of stagnated by being in, I would say, lower energy. Being more in a complacent spot when you could be the one in the red. Being more in a lower energy of being the needy. And then you being conflicted in that, in the things that you should do. 
should I move forward on that? Is that something that's my avenue? It sh it's definitely your avenue. You're definitely ready to move in something big. And this can be for your jobs. This can be, um, you know, anything of that sort. For those that's thinking about your children returning back to school, you know, you just got to keep your bar barriers up with them when it comes to the COVID situation, how that factors, <laughs> you know what I mean, in your life. Because you're the parent, so you know what is best for your child. Keep that in your hand. And the king of wands speaks of wanting to be more in thought than that ten. So you go really quick to that ten to the king of wands. That's more of a having a barrier to fix to know exactly what you need. The green around his neck saying that he's going to eat. Regardless of the people that's around that really don't want to see, you know, that type of growth. Because the people that's asking is also the people, remember, <laughs> that's not doing the work. So these same people see you doing it, right? They see you doing it, and they also want you to give them exactly, you know, everything you good. But you're moving forward in your life with a new thought. In a new way to do things. New feelings. You no longer want to be with the person that you was now. You want to see something new. It's something about growth. Within this time. Coming from the ten of wands. Seeing the king. Coming from worry. Distress. Changes. Into knowing exactly what you need. And what you want. See, there's a passion in that. There's a whole passion in that. Let me get some of that elemental power tarot by Melinda Lee Horn. One of my favorite decks. I use it for a clarifier. Even though it is a tarot deck. Three of Pentacles. The same thing. Yes. <laughs> people will. <laughs> people are watching you. To see. Whether you're going to make it. They see you moving. They see your work. But they want to see if you're going to make it to exactly where you need to go. Because as you can see, it's a little distorted going on in the background. But it's the vision is so clear. So people want to see if you're going to move forward within these things that is so heavy on your head that you got going on that you made a spoke of because it is tangible as wood. So these are things out there that you may have spoke of, you may have said. So they're watching. That's the Three of Pentacles twice came up. They're watching the scene. And some people are sitting amazed to see if they can distort, <laughs> stop, <laughs> hinder certain situations that you go in the world. But you go on full fledged. The Wheel of Fortune says that things that are changing in your life is because you have the movement. You took it a step further. That is great, Collective. That is what I Yeah, you really don't care no more. No matter what is going to take you there, you're walking out on faith on this one. <laughs> there is a path, but then the stairway to the moon, to things you don't know, to the unknown, Certain things that you have not experienced yet are about to come. With these people in your face, that's going to watch the evolution of your change. But being the fool takes on a whole nother respect of um, wimpfulness. Just being out there. 
on a whim with nothing but your faith. And it's being led into certain things that you may not understand at first, but it's definitely necessary for you to embark on any situation that you're in right now. That is beautiful. Also, these people seeing you as the fool don't absolutely know what exactly is going on because it's a transformation. The fool don't even know the stupid foolishness things that they do. But it's going to come out to be so amazing that people are going to want to see or watch certain situations. <laughs> Hierophant <laughs> just gets better. Notice how everybody has read basically on <laughs> very standout points. So you really have nothing blocking you within moving forward in a relationship and your work and your job actually is going to be more abundant for you at this time only because you have the passion to move on and it could be a cancer that is giving you the passion to move on and these people <laughs> Let's find out how those people are going to react. Let me take a five minutes. Let's see how they're going to react. Because the people around you, they love you, they understand you saying some people, you know. That is the the Knight of Swords. So, yeah, that is more, that's that rushing in energy <laughs> to somebody wants to rush in, somebody want to come in to actually get a front view seat of the changes in your life. And also to see if you are able to conquer certain things that you may not have been conquering before but your world is changing and it comes to that passage that I read about Solomon earlier about his consciousness with love and wisdom knowing the difference putting that duality putting that duality through that wisdom, that love, that consciousness being understandable within that. Anything coming, rushing in, wanting things that you're unable to give, you're not really going to give them. You're really not going to give it no, you know, because this is in the clouds. Remember, this is what they want. They want a rushing in action. Um your mind <laughs> so to speak thinking on a, a preference of oh ideas and uh, general knowledge which is okay when you're ready but as the world turns and the will of fortune turns and as the chariot makes its way you have no time you're the fool you're going up making a new story of your own that has nothing to do with nobody else. It's I'm shocking how there's no people here or nothing to block. So you may feel that you have a lot going on, you know, within. But it's going to manifest something totally beautiful after, you know, you say a couple of no's and you give a little bit of discernment to your own wants and needs. Because the healthy relationship with yourself is ultimately what is going to, you know, send you right into what you need. Let me get an angel message. 
and the fool just uh, being the fool understanding that you know being guided by your thoughts not really careless like you don't care because you're coming from a king of wands point of view so your thoughts is on point you just need to reflect that right we are reflecting our feelings more into the physical note so that's basically what you're doing and you're moving very beautifully doing it. come on collective Angel Therapy. Archangel Raphael, give your cares and worries. Give your cares and worries to us angels and allow us to take your burdens. <laughs> okay? All right? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Having a complete understanding about where you're going. Meditate, prayer, right? So you're already in a clear access to confront these people about where you're going in life and how things is going to be met by your standard and a new foundation. That is beautiful. <laughs> in the fool having grace while you're on your way up there because even though people think you as strong and bounded as you may be remember you're entering something new so all in all I like it so coming from a place of burden instantly I could say in the next week, you'll be coming into a place of knowing exactly where you need to go and what you need to say, like drop. And even though this energy might be coming rushing into you guys, and that could be rushing in of thoughts, that could be people, places, and things, you know. But a rushing of energy of thoughts, you know, Nine of Swords, would be more of a. Yeah, people. And you can actually sort of see this, too, as a distraction to your main goal. And only you people would know your main goal. That's why I never, you never hear me put an emphasis totally on any situation. This is instinctual tarot. So I feel, see, therefore, must be. <laughs> there, it can be plethora of situations going on. You know, but you guys have discernment to pick out what I'm talking about and where that is going to lead you. You guys know where you want to go right now within this moment. You know what your dreams and aspirations are, right? If you're coming in the collective, if you're coming from a spot of genuine hierophant energy, then you are very in tune to this energy. Because the only people that don't get this not saying I'm gonna get it for you maybe this is not your story but generally everything is good in the hood over here there's really no negativity aspects that's going on here so if this is not your story that means you're probably still in a shadow element because there's nothing negative here that I could say that because if you're going through down hard and down hardship instinctually instinctually to me, that would mean that it, you, there's a, there's some shadow, there's some devil energy. You know, there's none of that here. Th this is people wanting your time and you focus on yourself. I like it. And this was Instinctual Tarot. And remember, these messages might not resonate with everyone. But you take what's yours and you leave the rest, right? <laughs> I'll be right back with more tarot readings. Blessings! <laughs>